Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about starting a home daycare, so let's get right into it. So the very first step in starting your own home daycare program is that you're gonna to wanna to have a place to run your daycare out of. So if you own your own home, then that's great, but if you're renting or you're thinking about renting a space out to start a home daycare program, you're going to want to speak to your landlord and get the permission to run a daycare program out of their home. The second step that you're gonna to have to take in starting your own home daycare program is that you're going to have to figure out what your state's licensing requirements are. Now, every single state is different and every single state has different requirements in order to obtain your daycare license. So for example, the state that I live in allows for me to care for up to eight children, while some other states only allow childcare providers to care for up to five children. Some states also require that you be at least 18 or 19 years of age and have a past history working with children. And all around the board, most states are gonna require for you to have CPR training, first aid, and they may even require for you to go and take some extra trainings to be able to operate a daycare out of your home. So once you figure out what your state requirements are, how many children you can care for, and what you have to do in order to get your daycare license, from there, you can make yourself a business plan. A business plan can seem a little bit overwhelming, but it can be as simple as these few things. How many kids can you have? How much can you charge per child? How much money are you gonna be spending on trainings and on renovations? What things you're gonna be needing for your daycare? So for example, you're going to need an area for the children to sleep on, so maybe some cots and some pack and plays. You're also going to need toys and activities, so maybe you'll wanna get a little kitchenette. So you're gonna to have to think about what things are you gonna to have to buy for your daycare? Are you gonna to need to be buying gates, door locks? Also, are you going to be including food in your program? So there is a meal program that you can typically get on and the meal program will reimburse you for the food that you spend on the children. But some daycare providers also require that the parents bring food. So these are things that you're gonna to need to make a list of and figure out how much money you're gonna be making and how much money you're gonna be spending to start up your program and then how much money you're going to be spending over the course of your program to keep your program up and running. The next step will typically be to fill out a packet from the state. Now, I'm not 100% sure if this goes for every single state, but typically this packet is gonna ask you for your first and last name. It's also gonna ask you for your home address. It's going to ask you to create a layout of where you're gonna be having the daycare center. You're also going to be asked if you have any bodies of water, so if you have any pools, and if you do, those things need to have barriers around them. Your state is also going to require different entries in and out of the house. They're also going to want windows that are big enough to escape if, God forbid, there were a fire. They're also going to want to know who else is living in the house, if you have any pets, and typically they'll ask you to do a background check. Working with children is very serious, so there can be a lot that goes into it typically on an average packet to fill out all the paperwork and send it back and make sure that everything is filled out correctly can sometimes take between two to six months. Now, I personally have opened and operated two licensed home daycares. The first one took me six months because I was brand new to it and there were a lot of renovations that they wanted done to my home. The second one took me three months because I had an idea of what I was doing. I knew what the state was looking for and I was able to get things done a lot quicker. So the state may come into your house and they may say, hey, you know what? You need to have a gate right at these stairs. You need to have a gate right here. You need to have two exits and entryways in and out of the house. You're also going to need to make sure that you have railings going down any stairs. And they'll also require things like having a fire extinguisher and also having first aid kits and just little things like that that are going to help to keep the children safe while they're in your care. So all together between filling out paperwork, getting background checks, attending the trainings that need to be done, and making renovations to your home, it can take a few months and it can also cost some money. Now once you fill out 
all of these pages in your packet and you go back and forth with licensing and they approve your entire packet. Typically, licensing will have a state inspector come out to your home and that state inspector will go around and they will make sure that you have made all of the changes appropriate to your house. You have added gates, any bodies of water are surrounded, you have locks on any doors that need to have locks, any of your kitchen knives or anything dangerous for children are all placed up high including Clorox and medications and once that state inspector comes out and says good job, you're good to go, you have officially obtained your license to run and operate a daycare center out of your home. And let me tell you, it is such hard work, but it is such a rewarding feeling. So while you're doing all of this paperwork back and forth and you're waiting for your final inspection to come, some things that I would recommend to get done in the meantime is to get familiar with your state's regulations. You can go right online to your state's website and you can print out your regulations and you can start learning them now. Knowing your state regulations is going to help you so much when your program is up and running and you have five and six kids and the state comes knocking on your door saying, hey, we're here to see what's going on. You always want to make sure that you're in compliance and you're running by the state's standards because it's going to be so much less stressful for you. Another recommendation that I have while you're waiting to obtain your daycare license is to choose your center's name. So are you going to be naming it Miss Isabel's daycare and if so you can even go out and get a DBA. A DBA is doing business as and you would be able to get that name for your daycare center and no one else would be able to use that name. But a DBA is optional and you don't have to do a DBA. It's just something that I personally like to do for my daycare center. Another thing that I would recommend doing is creating your policy handbook and contract. This is going to have all of your policies in it and it's going to let the parent or guardian know what your expectations are for your daycare center. It's also going to cover the rate, so how much you're charging for their child, and it's going to be a signed contract between you and the parent that they understand and that they agree to abide by your policies and to pay you the certain amount that you guys have agreed upon. And of course, another recommendation that I have for you guys is get the word out there. When you know that your final inspection is coming up and you're going to have your daycare license soon, get the word out there, share it online, share it with your friends, share it with people at church, and let them know, hey, I'm gonna be starting a home daycare. This is gonna help for you to start getting those clients faster and starting your business right when you obtain your license. I really hope that today's video was helpful for you guys. If you guys are curious on how you can figure out your state's regulations or who to contact, I'm going to link a site for you guys down below and it's going to take you to an entire map of the United States. You can click the state that you live at and it will show you what your requirements are and it will also help to connect you to who your licensing is going to be for your state. I'm also going to be dropping a video on how to write your policy handbook and contract and how to get clients into your daycare. As always, I hope that you all have a blessed day and a blessed week and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>